Hi everyone, uh, it's day one, day one video, um, and welcome to the first of our series. Um, yeah, it's going to be on prayer today, so hopefully this is something you're already thinking about. How can I make a bit more space to pray? Uh, one of my favourite places to pray is actually out on a walk, uh, but I also find it really helpful uh, to just make time either early in the morning or in a quiet place. So um, for you, it might be different, but wherever it is, try and find a place or create some space where that can be something you can prioritise. Um, obviously, in, in just a couple of minutes, I'm going to struggle to communicate much of what it means to pray. I think uh, the journey of prayer is a really interesting thing uh, for everyone. And as you become a Christian, as you uh, become aware of God and spend time chatting to him, talking to him, sitting in his presence, actually your prayer life and your awareness of him will grow and develop. Um, and so I'm going to share with you a few amazing quotes uh, from people who uh, have prayed and just have a really good perspective on it. So uh, they're going to kind of pop up as we go through. Firstly, um, prayer should not be regarded as a duty which must be performed, but rather as a privilege to be enjoyed. A rare delight that is always revealing some new beauty. Prayer does not fit us for the great work. Prayer is the great work. To be a Christian without prayer is no more possible than to be alive without breathing. Martin Luther, that last one. So some great quotes there really about the centrality of prayer. Um, and, you know, I don't know what you've chosen to fast or to take a break from. But, but really, if you don't replace it with that prayer and that time uh, seeking God and, and being with him, then it's kind of just a physical thing that you're doing you might just be going without breakfast for example but if you don't replace it with something that helps you to get closer to God then you're kind of missing out um, and I'm just going to finish now with my best uh, quote on prayer the one that's probably impacted me most in the last uh, couple of years and it's from Philippians 4 it says the following do not be anxious about anything but in every situation through prayer and petition with thanksgiving submit your requests to God and let the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And I absolutely love that. And so that's my prayer for you today, that God's peace will guard your hearts and guard your minds as you pray to him, as you're thankful, as you request from him and as you engage with God. May you know his peace uh, in your life today. Um, it's Sunday. I hope you join us later, 1020 for our service. Um, otherwise, have a fantastic day praying and fasting, seeking God, and uh, be really blessed. Thanks for joining me.